is a separate area which is like your phone guys they deal with your actual phone at your desk and making sure that you can call by extension with people within your company or outside your company with the with voice over IP and voice and unified communications that that functionality has been integrated within the networking field so you see networking people not only doing routing and switching and such but they're also doing a lot of voice services mainly with quality of service but also with call routing and such security is another field that can be broken down to two different levels operations and policy a lot of people tell me that they want to get into security so my response is well which part of security the operational side is what is considered as managing designing configuration of firewalls maybe a little bit of IPS or IDS and that sort of thing access controls the policy or the kind of is dealing with creating an information security policy the do's and don'ts what you can do on your network how it should be designed requirements of security for e-commerce data center that sort of thing they outline the policy but they also may get involved in looking at analysis and going through logs and that sort of thing engineering and development deals with development of like programming like web development programming applications within your company using ASP or .NET all that type of stuff project management I put project management in here because uh, basically it does have a high importance that when there's a project like a disaster recovery um, process a project manager is always involved and they're responsible for managing multiple individuals for on a project that could contain people who work on servers or desktops networking security etc one thing to note is that the security side mainly security operations is also integrated with the networking department for example I have done a lot of work within networking departments of not just networking but um, security operations and of course the voice and telecommunication side since those are being kind of merged together under networking so most people start out as desktop technicians and of course that makes sense because we have PCs or desktops at, at, at our home so we learn about the ins and outs and become more proficient with it and then from there we later get a job being a desktop technician that's how I started out I was a desktop technician first from there you can easily go into managing servers it's not much difference but the responsibilities are different so then from servers that's what I started doing I was working on Windows NT a little bit of Novell and that sort of thing and then from there people usually kind of venture out to more of the advanced um, concentrations which is networking voice even security and that's how it happened for me after after servers which I just spent very little time with didn't have much interest with it that's when I started doing networking and I've been doing that for such a long time that I started taking in other responsibilities for security and voice so the key thing is these are the major roles that you would see under the IT umbrella you gotta ask yourself which one of these is more of your interest something that you definitely like and you very likely will be trying all these different things and the key thing I want to emphasize is you got to make sure that you love doing this because well you'll be doing it for a long time and you're gonna be getting deeper and deeper into that field me for example I chose networking so let's expand that further for the IT networking umbrella so there are different areas even under networking they are routing and switching now every network engineer begins with routing and, and switching is pretty much as I call it, the framework and this contains for a LAN, WAN, data center, even a wireless network. Another area is security that we talked about from the previous slide that contains operational roles such as managing firewalls or IPS. I spend a lot of time managing and configuring firewall and firewall policies and such voice and unified communication is another area under the networking umbrella for managing not just voice like call processing components or voicemail um, contact center those are areas that are very emphasized under networking and the other two are service provider 
and storage networking, which are completely different components, very different beasts in themselves. So usually every person will begin doing routing and switching. That's how my career kind of began. I did a lot of routing and switching. From there, I started doing security and then started doing voice and unified communications. Roles. Now, every person, as we talked about in the, really the second slide, is everyone will have an operational support role in the beginning of their IT career. And when we say operations, we're talking about the following. Configuration. We're talking about deployments and support. Configuration means we're we are going to configure a router, a switch. Deploying it means we're going to rack it and stack it, do the cabling, um, all the data center facilities type work. And support, well, if something's broken, something's not operating correctly, then the operational support person gets involved with that. And the second role is a design role. And this is the individual that is responsible for creating a design or an architecture for what the, what the LAN will look like, the internet edge or the data center will look like, and could provide the configuration for that. Most people in this industry will have both roles, especially if they're a senior network engineer. They'll have both a, a design role and an operational support role. So once you understand which areas to focus on, that's the key thing. Find out which concentration that, that you want to focus on or get into, what, such as networking. Then you determine from the network areas, routing and switching, security, voice, storage, service provider, which area you want to specialize in and go deeper with. So then the next step, when you kind of to decide that, you want to figure out your IT network vendor of choice. Let me first make a very quick announcement, so I'm not being biased here. This presentation is solely and focused around Cisco. I, my working experience, as I talked about from working in different business sizes and industries, I worked at Cisco as part of the Cisco TAC, and I was there for probably like a year back in 1998 and I had great exposure and great working experience that shaped my career going forward. So this is definitely shaped more towards Cisco. Now this is nothing uh, against the other vendors such as Juniper or SonicWall, Microsoft, Shortel, Fortinet for example. As I talk about to a lot of people in my design, kind of like in my design discussions, for different IT professionals that it comes down to the business requirements and if Avaya or Shortel on the voice and, uni and unified communication side can support a particular requirement by the business then that's perfect though. I worked in environments where I, I have deployed sonic wall firewalls where I have deployed Juniper firewalls so it's, so it's nothing of saying that those are weaker com 